Alrighty guys, he's back. The 2012 Chevy Silverado. Uh, I believe it's a, no, it's not a Texan edition. It's just a Chevy, uh, Chevy Silverado, the LTZ. Uh, this one we did the HIDs, the driving lows, the fogs, his uh, window film, his uh, stealth radar installation, and his uh, prestige remote start uh, security system, 997A. Today, uh, we're gonna be doing quite a number on the truck, but it's gonna be a full sound system. Let's check it out. Front and rear kickers. I mean, even though this thing has bows, get it out of there. Even if, it, I mean, even how it has bows, this is gonna knock out of the water. This is gonna sound much more cleaner, more mid bass, louder, cleaner, and more efficient without taking out that much power. We're gonna be doing away with the bows amplifier, so we're gonna be pushing it with a five channel uh, sound stream amplifier. Also as well, uh, in the new head unit we're gonna get them, we're gonna be hooking up a, a review camera with night vision. And then this is the, the Yoda of, uh, of all interfaces. This guy right here does everything. It does the, it retains the OnStar. If you would like, it would, it would retain the Bose uh, amplifier system. Um, it retains um, like GPS, if I have GPS as well. Um, it will retain the satellite radio as well, the, the factory satellite uh, XM radio, it's gonna be retained. I'll show you guys in the video how, how, that, how that works out and uh, how he'll control that. Uh, it's also gonna retain his steering wheel functions all from one module. You don't gotta get four or five different modules. Alrighty guys, on these type of uh, trucks, the, these door panels, how they get removed, you gotta pull this little clip out right here with a little flat screwdriver, pick it, and then uh, pull it towards you, and then it's gonna undo this little lock, and then this will slip right up. Take this out as well. Make sure you completely remove this because on its clips, when you're gonna realign it to snap it back in place, it will scratch the paint right here. So make sure this is removed completely. Take this out. And then this right here, this wood trim piece right here, only the wood trim piece snaps up and then undo the, the connectors right here as well. A little flat screwdriver, put pressure towards you going up back this way. There's gonna be a 10 millimeter bolt right there. Right here as well, put a little flat screwdriver right here. This little panel pops out. There's gonna be two, two 10 millimeter screws right here as well. And then the, the door pretty much pops and slips right out. And then be ready for whenever the door's out because one more thing, the, it's kind of a pain in the butt. If you really don't know, have someone help you. You're gonna need to bring the door out, but just a little bit. And then grab like needle nose pliers and on the back side, there's gonna be a special little clip that connects right here. It's actually like a, a link rod system, kind of like how the, 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 the hood is. You pull the hood and it opens, same thing here. So you gotta depress that little clip and then the little clip gets undone from, from, from its, its hole and then it gets smaller and it allows itself to be pulled out from the retainer that's holding the that little um, um, uh, wire back in there. Okay, and I'll show you guys right now as well what I'm talking about. Okay, well let's get to it. Okay, alrighty guys, when the door comes off, remember, leave it where it's at, put, put it back and let it relax. It's like this right here, Mira. This goes into this little socket right here and then you, then you gotta push this back like that and it rides right in there. So what, what you're actually gonna put pressure on is when it's in there and forward, it's, it's actually like that, locked into place. You actually, let me see if I can turn it, okay. These two heads right here, with the needle nose, depress them, close them, and, and as soon as you're depressing them on this side over here, because it's gonna be like that inside the little hole, that little groove. Depress them, and then pull it back and out, and then this as well, and it comes loose. That's all it is. And just make sure you push the wiring out of the way that it's not connected to anything. This comes up over here. And that's it, the door, the door panel comes right off. I, I find it better to, uh, when you're removing the door, because it's got clips. The, the, the best place to start pulling is right here in this corner here. Just stick your fingers around this corner here and just keep going down and keep pulling back gradually, nice and even, and then the door panel will come right off. And that's it guys, and that's the, Supposedly the the best premium sound system speaker Bose. Let's get that crap out of there Alrighty guys, well here's the Bose speaker out right now um, To remove it all you need is a seven millimeter screw that the comes right out and then this guy Just put like a little flat screwdriver is a little bit of a of like a seal from this gasket They have on there Go ahead and get that out of there and it pulls right out But look you can see the difference right away look look at the cone area on the kicker and then the cone area on the Bose and then no tweeter. I mean, this thing is phenomenal. I mean, it's a bad little tweeter, man. Check out the magnet. It is laughable. <laughs> Look at the kickers. And then more shallow as well. 
That is hilarious, man. Look, look what they're come to, man. Like, look, look, it says bows on there, man. Bows. Sad. And what's sad too? They can't even make it sound good at a one point nine ohms. That's the more sadder part. The lower you go, the the, the more faster the woofer moves. Then pinch is more quicker. The the sound should be more present, more bass. The the highs, the voice should be there quicker. They're not sad to say. I don't know what they've done or, or what what they're going to, what materials they're using, but no longer prestigious. No, by no means. This one here is at a True Room Four Ohm load, and this sounds like a million bucks. And that bigger cone area, that that's the difference as well. The the this you could, I mean, just by hearing it, high quality parts, but the cone area. This is the mid base and the base. This is where it's at. This is not where it's at. Okay, what is getting installing, guys? Okay, guys, getting ready to install the speaker. Okay, remember, like how I do on all these Chevy trucks, go ahead and put the speaker up on there. Uh, find your best uh, uh, location. Uh, make sure there's no gaps and the, the bolt pattern matches up. It's right there in the corner, right there. Top and then right here on the sides. Okay, and then uh, go ahead and uh, you find your bolt pattern, go ahead and remove the speaker. Go ahead and get in, uh, an eighth inch uh, pilot drill bit. Go ahead and put these guys out and go ahead and use a appropriate uh, like half inch shelf tapper. And that's it. And then uh, remember the wiring color code. Uh, they're the same for all Chevys, uh, but go ahead and solder your connections onto the speaker. Uh, front driver is going to be tan positive, gray negative. Passenger side is going to be light green positive, dark green negative. The back side uh, driver is going to be uh, brown positive, yellow negative. On um, back side passenger is going to be dark blue positive, light blue negative. Okay. Well, let's get to it, guys. Let's get installing it. The kickers have way more definition than the bows. That's because all we did was just change out the head unit. We didn't to really amplify them. Okay, well, let's get to it, guys. Alrighty, guys, that's how it should look like you never even touched it. Yeah, the kicker's in there. There it is. Okay. okay let's get to it, guys. Let's, let's finish them off. The, the other ones are pretty much the same as well. The only difference is um, nothing, just a bolt right here, bolt right, right back over here. This lifts off as well, and then undo your, your terminal. And then uh, this little pin as well, slide this pin out, and this comes right up, and that's it, guys. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, uh, I got the driver's side uh, kicker DS in there, and the finer side is still the bows. When I max it out, the bows start to distort a little bit. They've got, they've got a little bit lower end, but that's because it's pre-cued. Uh, the kickers, when we put them with the amplifier, they're going to be full range, so it's going to be getting full signal, not, not like how Bose intended for it to be a weak speaker and uh, for its bass to be artificial and higher up on the frequency. But let, let me go ahead and crank it up and I'll show it to you guys how those start to distort and the kickers are like not even, even breaking a sweat. do you see that you see how the bow speakers can't handle the power that they're uh, stressing out they're uh, 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 over exerting themselves and a little bit of distortion can be heard at times when the low end is there and the kickers are not even breaking a sweat they're still super calm they're, they're not even x maxing the, the the tweeters are like give me more uh, that just shows you the quality guys i mean uh it sounds much more cleaner more defined but with this both both amplifier system it's not going to do it for us we're going that's why we're going to get it out of there put put this piece in there so we retain all the goodies from the factory and then we're going to put that bad boy into the five channel 
Yes sir, yes sir. Let's get to it guys. I want, I want to put that side on there. I'm, I'm not going to record it because I already showed you guys on this side how it's the same thing on that side. So let me go ahead and get that side done guys. Alrighty, guys, we got all the kickers uh, already installed. Uh, they sound incredible, phenomenal. The the highs are just much more present. And as soon as we put the the five tree amplifier and amp up the the kickers DS speakers, they're gonna be even much more alive and and accurate. Uh, the mid range and mid bass isn't there because of the pre EQ'd, but uh, just with that alone, I mean the both speakers don't even compare. What's up? <laughs> Yo, RGV, turn it up, turn it up, JC on the radio, radio, Wild 104. Flo Rider, you know I got love for your C, what happened was, we in Bahamas, yep, I remember it was 08 summer, some pretty guy girl, nice to meet you, it's an honor, yep, she tapped me, told me she Rihanna now, Rihanna told my mind in the gutter, when I hug her, when I rub her, when I touch her, gotta love her, that chain around my neck should have been her, and that's the truth, she'll tell you what the color was, was, Yeah, the, the, that imaging was nowhere even near there. The 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 tweeters from the, the actual kicker are actually way louder than the than the bows themselves. Okay, well let's kick it up, guys. Let's get to it. Alrighty, guys, we're here in the back of the truck. Gonna get the camera installed. Went ahead and put up a, a mock uh, hitch so that um, whenever he's backing up to the to the boat, he has a good uh, 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 direction as as to where how he's got to go straight to hook up to the boat. And right here's the camera, and I went ahead and mocked up a real quick TV for it. Okay, um, let's see here. Uh, right there's the down. Okay, we're going to put it right here in this area, right here. And then just two more. Let's get an idea, because we're going to put the ring straight, not not straight, but pitch off a little bit to an angle like that. So I got, we could, uh, right about there. Right about there, on down. Right there. We're going we're gonna to get that, that angle right there. We want to try to be right there. Because this little circle right here. Where like the hitch would go, I mean the, the, the ball would go if you were to put it right there onto the factory bumper. That's going to be a little bit of an in, uh, uh, indication right there on the bottom uh, right corner. Right there, so like he knows wh where straight's going to be for the, the hitch of the boat to hook up to the truck. Okay, that's our location right there. We're just going to put it more off to the side right about here. And then pitch a little bit down. And that's it right there, guys. Okay, let's get to it. Let's, get, let's, let's install it. Alrighty guys, got the dash removed, got the radio out of there. Uh, this right here is the, the little bezel that goes around the, the, the radio and the AC and the and the other controls and the and the 12 volt cigarette lighters on there. Man, on this you I'm telling you guys, you guys gotta be super careful because like I tell you the technology that uh, General Motors uses now, it's something similar to like BMW and Mercedes Benz. It's super fragile. I mean that's just the edge. I mean the actual thickness, I mean it, it's it's nothing tiny i mean you guys really need to be careful what i use i use some special uh um, panel pullers uh these are from snap on and uh i i'm able to tuck up under there into the corners and uh evenly apply pressure i mean our fingers our hands sometimes i mean with with, the, with this thin of material you can actually snap it and break it very easily i mean it won't take that much at all just be very careful the clips i mean are, are super good clips i mean they stay on there very well so just go all the way around there's clips all the way around on this right here Go to remove all the seven millimeter bolts, and then just just undo the AC a little bit, and then uh, you've got your European antenna system, you've got the mini USB, and then you got your two power connectors right here. Is where the 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 Metro the XS uh, GM OS 100 is gonna connect into and uh, give us all the functions that we need. Uh, the thing that's awesome about that uh, bypass this uh, interface, it's even gonna give us the um, the the reverse wire whenever we're going to uh, put in reverse for the rear view camera it's going to give us that automatic trigger we don't got to be going and, and uh, trying to get it on the steering wheel uh, column so 
Let's go and get all that set up, all those goodies. And remember how this is a Bose system, like on the black one that we did with the Bose GMC uh, 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 sound system that was in it. Remember, the the wiring is down here for the for the Bose amplifier. Remember, we're going to remove the uh, the amplifier, so we're going to go ahead and uh, and run the speaker wires direct from our amplifier, our uh, Rubicon uh, sound stream. So we're going to tap the wires down here for the tweeters, the front speakers, and their tweeters, and then the rear speakers. And then uh, we're going to do the subwoofer. But let's go and get this, this program, all the goodies, all the steering wheel control functions, all that awesome stuff. Okay, guys, well, let's get to it. All right, guys, like I tell you, right here's all the wiring here, guys. Uh, remember, the driver front is a uh, tan positive, uh, gray negative. Uh, front side passenger is going to be uh, light green positive, dark green negative. Uh, back side uh, driver is going to be brown positive, yellow negative. And then uh, back side passenger, uh, dark blue positive, light blue negative. Um, right here's the the wiring um, you can see over here I'm gonna reconnect these guys over here but the reason I didn't use this side to to tap for all the the bypass and right here's all my wiring already as well that we're gonna run to the amplifier here's the other one right here uh, the reason I, I didn't use this is because you see how this is another connector here well, you want to eliminate as many connectors as you can you just want your wiring directly to the speaker eliminating any type of uh, like uh, resistance you know I mean uh, even though it's a metal contact it's not as pure as, as as copper. Usually, this is never copper. This is some type of like an aluminum or 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 a blend of aluminum and copper. But yeah, that's why I'm not gonna use this. Um, I wanna I want a straight shot to my speakers, and give it the the, the most uh, audiophile sound I can give it. So that's how you, that's how you you do it. And it's on this side, not not this side of the connector. It's on this side for the speakers. Right, I'm turning up the game. That's the dry side there. The tweeters on. And the and the mini. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, do all this wiring, start it up correctly, and then let's let's keep going. Okay, guys. Hey, guys, there's all the wiring uh, soldered uh, to the speakers. Let's get to it, and I went ahead and connected that one back the, to uh, the way it was. Okay, well, let's get to the onto the rest of the installation. Let's go. All right, guys, trying to make some uh, headway on this uh, radio installation, but uh, just a, a little bit of info for you guys that are going to be uh, trying to do this installation. Uh, as far as when you're going to be putting a whole new head unit in and, and, and bypassing, pretty much removing the Bose sound system. And um, with this nice uh, GMOS 100, how it does everything, it retains the... the let me check, check it out for you guys real quick. How it retains the... I'm trying to get it real quick. Okay, here we go. Like right there, see right there how, how it says uh, Ringo Star Wings? Okay, that right there is the actual uh, XM uh, radio. It's integrated now through the, see right there is uh, Oyster Head XM loading. So it, that's cool um, how this unit integrates everything into the head unit. Uh, granted, th this Kenwood uh, has the auxiliary to the front and that's how this works. I had to make my own uh, 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 auxiliary from uh, the RCAs out to to regular, right there, over here, right here. See, I had to make my own right there. I went ahead and made my own wise. I converted the the RCAs into a, a 3.5 millimeter jack connects right here to the front, and that's how he'll be able to get the XM radio heard through the head unit. Uh, it's got a rear auxiliary, but the 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 one thing about this, whenever you're going to be bypassing the the head unit. And but keeping everything, the steering wheel controls. Watch, we can go ahead and go over. It's right there, right there, right there. Is controlling the steering wheel. Or you can go down. It's a bunch of cool stuff. And then the source, change it up. Standby, the disc. Go over. Uh, we already got a bypass as well. Um, but the, the 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 cool thing about it is um, the one thing you have to do though for you to be able to retain your uh, like uh, phone and the OnStar and then the Red Cross is uh, you have to install an external speaker, a second speaker, just for that output that, that would connect up to the Bose sound system. So, in, in, in a sense, it's still there. I mean, we're not, we're not harming it or removing it, but we still need at least uh, uh, one set of uh, out, uh, audio speaker outs to connect into, uh, onto a speaker for us to have that. And uh, where you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna install this how you would normally, I mean, with all the connections and, and connectors, that's fine and dandy. But see, this is thinking you're either going to use your pre-outs, like your RCA outs, if it has a Bose system, or if it's a standard system, you're going to use the, the, the speaker in 
and then it's gonna go ahead and switch it over and then go out to like if it was regular GM uh, GM Delco speakers but since we're not using either or and we're using our own we're gonna run our own RCAs and and then amp up the, the speaker wires directly from our amplifier there, there would be no way for the OnStar or any of those goodies to be able to talk or, or for you to send commands out to OnStar or from to talk to you so what you have to do is tap down here where we um where we went ahead and did our bypass for our speakers for, for us to get direct speakers they're right here you have to on the opposite side the actual side for the for 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 the out this right here is the out of the Bose amplified system the OnStar and 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 the telephone this right here is where you have to tap onto this right here is for the speakers this is our speaker that we're going to tap onto and then let me go ahead and show you guys we're going to go ahead and hit the talk the phone on star ready. See, and then this right here goes away. See, and where I where I mounted the speaker, and this is an awesome location for you guys if you guys are gonna be doing this. This panel pops right off. That that's right there where I installed the speaker. Weather forecast. First, let's start with your weather report. Your forecast provided by the Weather Channel. Here's the weather based on your current location, San Benito, Texas. Tonight, expect partly cloudy skies and an overnight low of 66 degrees. Thursday, expect partly cloudy skies with a high of 82 degrees and a low of 67 degrees. Friday, expect okay. clear skies. Pretty cool, right, guys? That's all you. That's all you gotta do to retain all these goodies. Degrees. Saturday, expect showers with a high of 75 degrees and a low of 56 degrees. Your OnStar call has ended. Goodbye. That's it. Like that, he still has full function over all his factory goodies. You know, I mean, it's a brand new truck, 2012. Why do you want to lose it? You don't have to. I mean, th this is a little bit pricey, but it's worth it. This is about 250 dollars. Uh, well worth the money get get this guys uh, I mean if you have all these goodies you know I mean as far as uh, factory but if it's a uh, stock where it doesn't have no bows or anything like that uh, I, I would I would just bypass it and you can go ahead and grab the same wires down there and then just put a speaker as well but now you we're, we're making very good room let me go ahead and put it in reverse right there's in reverse right there and then right there that's the review camera right there Yes, sir. Alrighty, well, let's continue it off, guys. We just gotta, the head unit's already done. We just gotta mock it up, and then we gotta make this look nice and clean coming out of the kit. We're gonna go ahead and use a special diamond uh, 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 blade. It's gonna go ahead and ju just make just, just enough of an opening for, for us to put, uh, pass the wire between the, the AC and then the actual uh, uh, radio kit bezel. So let's go ahead and get that done, and then uh, find place for, for this. I mean, it's quite a bit of uh, wiring. But let's get to it, guys. All the wiring for the quest to uh, no pre EQ'd and better sound quality. Okay, well, let's start running it, guys. Alrighty, guys. Okay, it's already mocked up on there. I already know I'm going to be getting some uh, some uh, questions about this on how did I get it flush. This Kenwood is it's uh, it's a pretty long unit. Um, what you have what what has to be done, and this is pretty much 90% of the times when the, when the head unit doesn't fit. This is what happens. Put the camera down. You have all these goodies. You have all the RCAs, the, the review camera, front rear. You have uh, your speaker connector, your power wire, ignition, all this good stuff over here that's sticking out. And sometimes it's, it's, it's not deep enough for it to fit. So right there, you can see right there on the edge, right there, it has to be cut. Let me show you guys right here. See, right here. I cut it off right there and over here as well I went ahead and cut off this section as well see right there in that corner you got cut off right there and that and that's I mean I mean this is a pretty long radio it's, it's not small by any means but I mean I rather have it a little more, more beefy than it being too puny and overheating and then it glitching so that's exactly I mean what you have to what you have to do for it to fit properly alright there it is guys Okay, let's get to it. Let's start running. 
Alrighty guys, it is done. We got everything on it. Everything as promised. That's the sub enclosure right there. The old speakers right there. And the amplifiers on that side over there. Alright, there's a review camera right there. Let me go and take out this hitch because it was just a dummy. Just, just to try it out. It's a done deal right there. And then over here is the amplifier installation. Uh, uh, where, where we mounted the amplifier. Yes, sir. Right, there's the box right there. Okay, guys. Well, let's try it out. Let's see how it sounds. Everything back on there, I mean, clean, like like nothing even was done to the vehicle. I mean, all the speakers got done, as you guys know. Um, we retained all the warning chimes. See right here? It goes over to car and truck. Already. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, all that's still fully functional. Okay. And then here we got the steering wheel controls. Oh yeah, and this is right here how I went ahead and did the auxiliary for the for the the XM for, for the for the audio input. Warrior, your paths will merge. Bose didn't have anything on that man. Okay, well that right there's the video. We got we got, got that bypass where here's the tuner, the radio. Okay. Let's go ahead and put a and then here uh whenever we do systems like this, this complete this big, all the outputs uh we measured uh the RCA outs from the head unit. Uh surprisingly, um Kenwood their their full gain it goes up to 35 but their full gain as far as on the rc out the front and the sub and the rear all the all the 35 uh, volts that you get out of there surprisingly it's undistorted there's no distortion whatsoever a pioneer right at 50 right below 50 that's the uh, distortion free everything above that it starts to distort at a uh, at like 1,000 hertz, you know, it starts clipping. Uh, surprisingly, this no, all of the 35, and it's and it's clip free. And uh, as far as an amp amplifier as well, on the outputs, we measure all the outputs and make sure that it's it's unclipped. So he's good, you know. And actually, the amplifier has even more uh, headroom and gain. So if you ever if you ever wants to really upgrade and put some real pro audio speakers in there, he has plenty of power still to do it.
Okay, guys, well, awesome job. He's gonna come pick it up in a little bit. We'll get some lunch. We'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.